Fred Gadelli, longtime executive producer of Sunday Night Football. Fred, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Ken. How are you? I'm doing great. So you've been at Sunday Night Football for 15 years. Correct. 23 Emmy wins. Uh, you began your career at ESPN way back in 1983. Um, and you, how long have you been doing these? You've done a, a game with the word night in it for how many years, basically? 31 consecutive seasons of a primetime NFL game. Right. Okay. So you do enjoy the evenings. You do like working at night, I guess. Um, yeah. So this. So for today's event, our goal is to kind of have very obviously gather here in the Zoom room to informally meet uh, over cocktails uh, on their own individually, but collectively. Um, but we want to have every all of our Hall of Famers have a chance to kind of discuss a key point of the career or just a deep cut, if you will. So um, let's take uh, as far as you're concerned. Um, you know, the floor is all yours. Well, I think what I'd like to talk about, Ken, is, you know, how sometimes when you're in your career and you're really certain that you want something and you set your mind on it and you set your heart on it, and then sometimes it doesn't happen. Uh, and it can be a really crushing defeat and you could feel like, well, that, you know, that road is closed or maybe your career is not going to be as good as you envisioned it. But you know, there were really two enormous moments uh, in my career that where I didn't get what I wanted and I ended up getting something much better. Uh, and I'm going to tell you about them. So in 1990, uh, I was at ESPN. I was producing college football and uh, ESPN had acquired the rights to Major League Baseball. And I was told by a Hall of Famer, Steve Anderson, that I was going to be the producer of Major League Baseball, and I was going to be the lead producer of ESPN's baseball coverage, and I was really excited about that. Baseball is my favorite sport. I'm a diehard Yankee fan, and I began the preparation of getting our baseball coverage planned. And then John Wildhack, who was our uh, executive producer in remote production, came, uh, was promoted um, uh, to a bigger role. Uh, and uh, so Steve Anderson came back to me and said, listen, I know we talked about baseball, but John's not going to assume a different role. And uh, we're going to put you on Sunday Night Football. And I was like, well, no, uh, no, that's, that's not what I want. I love baseball. Baseball is my favorite sport. I've been getting ready to do baseball and uh, I want to stay on baseball. And he's right. like, well, we really need you. Uh, we need you to come over. You're the right person to you know, uh, replace John in this role and, and, and you have to do it. And I was like, well, no, that, that's not what I want to do. And then after listening to me whine for about five minutes, uh, Steve interjected and said, you know, Fred, this really isn't a request. So <laughs> if you want to stay on baseball, you may have to find another network. But if you want to stay here, you're going to be doing Sunday night football. And look, I love baseball and nothing against baseball. But if I had gotten my way, we might not be having this conversation right now. So that's right. one of the stories. And then the second story is uh, when I was at Monday Night Football and ABC uh, was no longer going to be carrying Monday Night Football. It was going to go to ESPN. And, you know, I either rightfully or wrong or wrongly assumed that, you know, myself, Drew Esikoff, Al Michaels and John Madden would just go to Monday night on ESPN. Uh, and that was a bad, that was a bad, um, that was a bad thought in my mind because that what was not going to happen. Uh, so I remember thinking, okay, uh, I'm not doing Monday night football. ESPN had offered me a couple of other positions that, you know, I didn't really want to do. And at that point, I'm 45 years old and I'm thinking, well, I got to do two Super Bowls. I got to do Monday Night Football. Uh, this is probably the downside of my career. Um, um, you know, I, my whole goal when I got in this business was to do, you know, World Series or Super Bowls. That That's the goal that I set for myself. And I figured that was going to be closed off for me now. So I'm now trying to figure out a job that I can be happy in. Uh, knowing that I'm never going to have that platform that, you know, I had had at Monday Night Football again. And then, you know, lo and behold, you know, Dick Ebersole calls me. Uh, I have to I get to have a meeting with him. Uh, we hit it off right away. But still in the back of my mind, I'm having a hard time, you know, contemplating a world where Sunday Night Football is bigger than Monday Night Football. I just don't see how America after 35 years of this primetime event 
is going to change gears and say, oh, no, we're going to go to Sunday now. I, I couldn't foresee that. And it didn't happen right away, but it happened pretty quickly. Um, and, you know, I really wanted to go back to ESPN to do Monday Night Football. And, you know, I, you know, I, I was hurt uh, without a doubt. It was definitely a blow to the ego. But, man, if you talk about, like, the best thing that ever happened to me in my career uh, was going to work for Dick Ebersol doing Sunday Night Football, you know, at NBC. And we know what Sunday Night Football has become. And, you know, 10 straight years is the number one show in primetime. And most of those Emmys you mentioned have come, you know, working on this show. It's just been an unbelievable experience. So, I often tell people, especially, you know, people that I work with or just people in the business who are really talented and really driven and in this particular instance didn't get what they wanted, that, you know, don't despair because sometimes sometimes something you can't see is right around the corner and it's going to be better. So that's my deep cut for tonight. Awesome. Well, thanks, Fred. Really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you next year in person sometime, somehow, some way. I can't wait, Ken. Awesome, thanks.